You're watching Unreal Ant Gaming. This is Gohan from Dragon Ball Z. You want to see me turn Super Saiyan? Or should I take it to the next level? I'm also the narrator, too. Next time on Dragon Ball Z, make sure and smash subscribe to Unreal Ant Gaming. The relationship that Beerus and Whis have is unlike anything we've seen in Dragon Ball before, with both being the strongest of the seventh universe as we know it, it was Whis that trained and taught Beerus everything he needed to know in order to further become a god of destruction, but what if both Beerus and Whis rekindled this bond and trained again? This is the story of Beerus' training, as the training of the gods resumes with Whis having to take Beerus under his wing once more, as he further looks to guide Beerus in the right direction in becoming the once powerful and feared god of the seventh universe. As once more before we begin, if you are new to this channel and have a love and passion for all things Dragon Ball and anime related, then be sure to smash that subscribe button on this channel and turn on all notifications to never miss a single upload, along with giving this video a big thumbs up by slapping that like button down below if you guys love Dragon Ball and anime, as well as checking out the official Dragon Ball fan manga's playlist located down in the description box below to where on that playlist you guys will be able to find all the latest and best Dragon Ball fan mangas created by the community for the community so be sure to head on down below check out the official Dragon Ball fan mangas playlist for all the best and latest videos on Dragon Ball fan mangas <laughs> As we kick off the Beyond Dragon Ball Super Training of the Gods manga chapter special with the Angel Whis having to be shown training his God of Destruction Beerus in not having to train him in quite some time, Whis only then went along to tell Beerus after their initial encounter, my my, I will say Lord Beerus, I'm surprised you're able to endure this much without breaking down. You surely are determined to improve. I haven't trained with you this intensely since you first became God of Destruction. I wonder why though, why now? Could it be that the Saiyans, Goku and Vegeta are beginning to reach your level of power through their training? Ho ho ho! In further having to poke at Beerus for wanting to train now after realizing that both Goku and Vegeta are starting to catch up to Beerus in power, and with Beerus then getting very irritated, he immediately goes on the attack, but with Whis having to be cognitive enough and moving out of the way, he only then went along to tell Beerus, you're going to have to be much faster than that, my lord. You still have much to learn, and with Beerus backing up seemingly battle damage, he went along to then tell Whis, you're toying with me, aren't you? Come at me with reason, Whis. So Beerus wants validation to not only grow stronger, but it's also seemingly what Whis said that angered Beerus at heart until only then, Whis comes charging on in and delivering a bone-rattling shot to Beerus' abdominal section and telling him, I admire your drive, my lord, but you need to tap into more power to survive. And as Beerus clinches onto his ribcage, he only then went along to respond, don't ever underestimate me, Whis, as Beerus ends up grabbing Whis by the throat in literally an act that we've never seen be done before. What Beerus ends up doing is connecting a clean punch to Whis's face as Beerus went along to tell him, is this slow enough for you, Whis? Don't ever overlook me for mortals. And with Whis having to stumble on back, he then went along to look down and grinning at Beerus and telling him, this is the first time you've ever connected a clean shot, my lord. You're finally starting to get it. I wonder what made you feel this way. As he only then continues, is it because Goku and Vegeta have grown beyond your expectations? Is it because you wish to become the strongest god that goes far beyond the mortals? Or are you trying to tap into something greater? To where Whis really wants to pinpoint the main source as to what made Beerus want to train all of a sudden just to simply get stronger, and with Whis having to blitz Beerus in literally getting behind him, he only then went along to tell him, no matter what it may be, you are going to have to reach down deep and find the strength to push beyond what you are now. And with Whis then connecting a powerful chop to Beerus's neck similar to what we've seen go down in Dragon Ball Z and Dragon 
Dragon Ball Super Battle of Gods. Whis only then continued, I taught you everything you need to go beyond this current status of power. And as we observe Beerus collapsing onto his hands and knees, he only then goes on to reply to Whis and telling him, Don't patronize me, Whis. I'm not giving up. I will never be surpassed by them. Which clearly is an indication that the reason why Beerus is doing this is because he wants to become better than what Goku and Vegeta are now, and with Whis being the teacher that he is, he's further going along to remind Beerus of exactly what he needs to do in order to get there, and with Beerus shown having to struggle to get up, Whis only then went along to tell him, you let yourself go for millions of years, never thinking about the day where someone may come along to challenge your power, my lord. You've become lazy over the years, and too comfortable with being the strongest in this universe until Goku and Vegeta arrived. In order for you to shake this rust off and become what you once were, you're going to have to find what made you special. You're going to have to go back to your prime and remember the fruits of your training if you ever wish to get by as the mightiest in this world. Your ego is blinding you from the truth, my lord, and as Beerus begins to stand up, he then went along to respond, Ego, huh? And what truth am I possibly overlooking, Whis? As Whis went along to tell him, the truth of if the Saiyans truly had the ambition for it, then they would have easily became the new gods of destruction of Universe 7 if they truly wanted to overthrow you and take your title as a god, my lord. With a very nice silhouette of God of Destruction Goku and God of Destruction Vegeta in the background, Whis only then went along to continue, even during the Tournament of Power, the other gods had overlooked you because they've seen what you've become. In order for you to rise to the top of the food chain, you're going to have to stop being a sour crybaby about wanting to get up and not be lazy anymore, and this really entices Beerus to get up and literally scream at Whis as he went along to then tell him, is that what you think I've become Whis? As Beerus only then went along to fully engage against Whis in charging directly at him and attacking him, he only then continues, did you forget about how powerful I was? Did you forget about what made me the most ruthless destroyer of them all? How dare you! As Whis's words really struck a nerve within Beerus, as Beerus attempts to swing at Whis with Whis moving out of the way, Beerus then went along to tell him, Dodging and running away from me won't save you from what you have coming for your disrespect. As Beerus then is shown firing multiple energy blasts in the sky, he only then continues, I'll show you why I am the best of them all. And Whis really isn't affected by this because, as he's shown deflecting all of Beerus' attacks, he only then went along to tell Beerus, You should know better, my lord. I taught you everything in order to be the best. Now where is it? Show me the fruits of your training. Did you already forget about the power of Ultra Instinct? You tapped into it once before, so why can't you do it again? Is age catching up? Or do you need to be reminded of this power once more? You know these attacks won't work on me. In further having to add insult to injury in asking Beerus, look, you tapped into Ultra Instinct before, but then why is it that right now you can't do what you did before? Why is it that right now you can't go back to being the Beerus of your prime, but instead you've been reduced in being a former shell of who you once were? And as Beerus then seizes his attacks, he only then goes on to reply, I haven't forgotten. I can still use it, but Whis isn't buying it because then he ends up swooping on in and kicking Beerus in the stomach and having to tell him, is that so? Then if you say you can use it, then why aren't you using it now? You aren't fooling me, my lord. You've forgotten. As he then ends up uppercutting Beerus in the face, he only then continues, you've forgotten about the powers of the gods. Let me remind you then. So this is a very brutal training session from Whis because Whis wants to further remind Beerus of who he once was, but he also wants to go on ahead and remind him that if Beerus doesn't end up taking his position and job seriously, then at any given point, if someone like Goku and Vegeta really wanted to, they could take his position in being a god of destruction right under his feet. As Whis only then continues, don't become what I fear you might become. I've watched you go from being the strongest to now taking a backseat to mortals such as Goku, Vegeta, Broly, and even others such as Jiren. Rise, my lord. I know you have the power within you. You need to draw it out. You're not weak. You've just lost your way. You hold so much pride over who you are, then don't let it all go to a waste by settling for anything less of who you are. I know you are capable of so much more. 
just bring it back out. Show me, and with Beerus then slowly rising, he then went along to continue, you owe it to yourself. Prove to yourself on why you are who you say that you are or forever accept your fate in being second to mortals that have come after you. As only then there is a moment of silence, there is a moment of tension, because with Beerus struggling to even stand on his own two feet, he doesn't seem to acknowledge Whis, he doesn't seem to be engaging against him, he doesn't even seem to be replying, but instead is rather than eerily calm, as all of a sudden Whis begins to pick up on something as he went along to comment, what's this? Could it be? And with Whis really wanting to find out what this was, he then went along ahead to swing at Beerus and telling him, DECIDE YOUR FATE! And right before Whis's punch actually makes contact with Beerus, Beerus's head is shown tilted looking down onto the ground, with a very mysterious aura beginning to surround his body, as only then what Beerus ends up doing is subconsciously catching on to Whis's punch and preventing Whis from actually making contact, and with Whis completely taken back, he only then went along to comment, I felt this power before. There it is, the power I've wanted him to achieve. The power of Ultra Instinct, as only then for the first time in literally millions of years, Beerus went back into remembering the fruits of his training as for the first time in millions of years, Beerus had finally achieved Ultra Instinct. As only then Beerus is shown attempting to strike Whis with Whis moving back, he only then went along to comment, it is. I haven't seen him use this in millions of years. So this was what Whis had been trying to get out of Beerus in such a long time in reminding him that he's not weak, that he has a place in this world, it's just the fact that he allowed his laziness, he allowed his complacency to get the better of him, and other mortals such as Goku and Vegeta, and even Broly and Jiren, were allowed to supersede the powers of a god through training, through determination, through motivation, and not settling and being complacent, and that's the lesson that Whis wanted to remind Beerus in, in reminding him of who he was. As only then with Whis having to stand there and acknowledging what Beerus had done, he only then went along to tell him, well it seems like my words finally got a hold of you. You did it my lord. Now let's see how well you are able to use this power, and with Whis charging right in, he only then went along to tell Beerus, I expect nothing less from you Lord Beerus. With Whis having to go on the attack, it's then quickly noted that each time Whis attacks Beerus in Ultra Instinct, Beerus is able to deflect and guard himself from each and every single attack, as Whis went along to comment, his senses are incredible sharpened, more so than Goku's. He's very in tune, and as Beerus attempts to strike at Whis, Whis moves out of the way and then retaliating and punching Beerus in the face, but as soon as Beerus staggers back, rather than falling as we've seen be done before, he's still in the game, as Whis then continues, and he's also surprisingly much durable as well. So Whis also acknowledges that Beerus is not only stronger, but he's also much more durable than how he was before. And with Beerus only then having to be shown on his knees with the Ultra Instinct Aura disappearing, he only then went along to comment, this power, it slips through my fingers each and every single time. How is it not possible to master after all these years of chasing it? And finally, after Ultra Instinct had worn off, Beerus then proceeded to look back up at Whis and telling him, you got lucky this time, Whis, but thank you for opening my eyes to the truth. And with Whis stepping forward, he only then went along to tell Beerus, you are one of a kind, my lord a gifted and special person. For that moment, you were able to do what only one mortal was able to do. With time and practice, you will master this with ease. I believe in you. As Whis then extends his hand, he only then goes on to tell Beerus, you will forever have my highest respects, Lord Beerus. And with Beerus extending his hand and being helped up, he only then went along to reply, as you have the highest of mine, Whis. Thank you for giving me this chance to see what I needed to do. And as the two begin to walk off in the distance, Beerus only then continues, Now let's head to Earth. I heard Bulma has made a special dish for us. After you heal me, I hope I run into those Saiyans while we're there too, because I've been longing for a rematch against them. I won't let them outclass me again. As Whis went along to respond, oh my, it seems as if I had sparked a fire deep within you. I'm very happy that you are aiming to become great. Let's clean you up. We don't want you looking dirty for our guests. Oh, and please don't try and destroy Earth this time. Its food is too good. 
as only then the manga chapter special then comes to a close. Now, one of the main things that I really enjoyed making about this story was seeing how Whis desperately wanted Beerus to go back and remember the fruits of his training, remember who he was, and kind of eliminate his complacency and his stubbornness in wanting to improve because in Dragon Ball Super we've barely seen Beerus do anything of significant importance and it's not like he has to, but the fact that Goku and Vegeta have climbed so high in power due to their willingness to train with Whis that if Beerus doesn't keep up and if Beerus doesn't remind himself of who he is and the position that he holds, then someone like Vegeta or Goku or someone else that has that drive could ultimately take Beerus's place in possibly becoming the next god of destruction of the seventh universe. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this story and if you guys did then be sure to give this video a big thumbs up by slapping that like button down below. I was considering and really sitting on making a part two to this in, in having somewhat of a confrontation on earth involving Beerus and the Saiyans or perhaps maybe doing a showcase to where we get to see Beerus actually confront and spar with another god and to that if you guys want to see that I want to get your thoughts down below as to which god you would like to see Beerus spar with because I think that it's most interesting how in the Dragon Ball Super manga, we actually saw all of the Hakaishin fight, but in the anime, not so much. So again, I really hope you guys enjoyed this manga chapter. If you guys did, then also be sure to go on ahead and smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications to never miss a single video. But more importantly, I want to get your thoughts in the comment section below about if Beerus did have Ultra Instinct, then how powerful would Beerus be if he did have Ultra Instinct versus UI Goku, Jiren, Vegeta, Bro? Gogeta, even Whis, I want to get your thoughts as to where you guys believe Beerus would be ranked if he did have somehow the ability to tap into Ultra Instinct whenever he wanted to. Thank you all so much for your time. If you guys have not checked out the previous manga chapters on this channel, then you guys can go on ahead and check out the official Dragon Ball Fan Mangas playlist located down in the description box below to where there you guys will find the link that literally houses hundreds upon hundreds of different fan mangas, guys. So again, thank you all so much for your time. Tune back in for the next video and I'll be seeing each and every single one of you guys down in the comment section below. Take it easy guys and have a great day. Peace! And a quick little reminder before you guys go, if you guys are unaware, I do have a second gaming channel located down in the description box below, so be sure to head on over to Unreal Royale and hit that subscribe button along with turning on all notifications as to there, you guys will find all different kinds of gaming content that you will not get to find on Unreal and Gaming, titles and video games such as Grand Theft Auto, Call of Duty, Gears of War, Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle, Dragon Ball Z Legends, Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkai, IG3, Minecraft, Blair Witch, and many other retro games on that channel. So if you guys are into gaming, then make sure you guys subscribe over on Unreal Royale. I want to thank you all so much for your time, and I'll catch you all in the next one. This is the Galactic Emperor of the Universe, and of course I'm here to tell you to subscribe to Unreal End Gaming. Also follow Unreal End Gaming on these social media platforms to stay connected at all times. And if you don't, then very soon you will all be dead! <laughs> oh, did someone say unrelent gaming? Oh my god. The fuck's up, on? Put on some clothes! Well, why don't you put on any clothes? What? I don't need clothes! Jesus Christ, that's huge! <laughs> what, Broly? Freezer. Uh oh. Prepare to die! <laughs> <laughs> that I'm the biggest Unreal Ed Gaming fan. This is my moment. I'm a part of his notification squad. Universe 7 can have all the fun. I just want the food. And don't forget to leave a comment on this video. Show some love for the best community on YouTube. <laughs> K -k -k -k